What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Doing 2019 Bowman Baseball HTA Jumbo 8-box case break number 21. Pick your teams. So all teams sold out. Here we go. Here's the list. Number 21. And it looks like Ken got last ball mojo with the Twins. With the Phillies, I guess you got the last two spots remaining. So double last ball mojo for you. And good luck to everybody in the break. Here it is, Bowman Jumbo. I also got my horn back today, guys. Well, not today back, but finally works. Put some batteries in it, so we'll uh, see if we can use that horn today. And, of course. Always getting lost here. Uh, here's the little banner that will probably end up using for the new store. Put that right there. And here it is. HTA Jumbo. There you go, right there. Just to show you guys, there's all the boxes. So in all eight boxes. So this should be probably closer to an hour, maybe. I did a Bowman Hobby one time in an hour and like 15 minutes, but I like flew through that stuff. Unless you guys want me to fly through this, I can. I believe no paper-based ships unless it's numbered. Only veteran, no veteran common ship as well. In the chrome. At least that's what it says in the description. Alrighty. Here's one box. What's up, Mr. Mike's Daddy? Yeah, oh, what's up? What's up, David? Yeah, I, I kind of recognize the photo. Sometimes I don't really need to know the name, just more of the photo if you do change your name. What's up, Carmonas? What's going on, man? Hopefully, I'd love to give you some good mojo. First numbered card to 150, that's Adrian Marjan. Got a paper numbered card to 499, Scherzer. And to 150, Evan White. Wander Franco. Little Bowman Sterling. I know, autograph. 
photographs yet, huh? Where are the autographs hiding? There you go, there's one. Ooh, look at that. What are these called, like, shimmers? Bowens versus 299, Mason Martin. For the Pirates. D-Mac, Darren McKenzie. With the Pirates. Kenton, what time are you guys getting in on for... Uh, I mean, when it gets delivered, if it sells out, it's just more when the delivery comes. But we usually get our UPS guy to be here before Joe Gold comes in on Wednesday. So it should be here right before he start, right before he comes in. But I'm assuming, I think we're going to start at normal time. I don't think we're going to, you know, stream earlier unless a break is sold out. So, yeah, I, I think it's still going to be normal time, 3 Pacific. I don't believe it to be earlier, but I could be mistaken. I'm not sure. I, but I would assume unless a break is sold out, uh, then we might start early. But if it's not, then just kind of normal time. To 50 for the Padres. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we always have some pretty fair prices. It always, you know, goes up and down. You know, certain places have high, low, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm. It's gonna be on Wednesday for sure. I just, unless it's sold out, I just don't think we would start earlier. But I could be mistaken. But yeah, definitely get in with us, man. Uh, when you name these baseball players, it's like you're speaking another language to me. <laughs> There's our next autograph. Marco Luciano with the San Francisco Giants. Daniel with that one. To 50, Rookie of the Year favorites for the Padres. Is that right, Carmonas? I mean, I, I think... Um, for bigger releases, I mean, every breaker kind of prices their stuff out differently. I think in the end, it's all kind of the same. I mean, unless it's really crazy priced when it comes to new releases. But sometimes, you know, let's say one team is 20 bucks cheaper here, but over there it's 20 bucks more. But then we may have a team that's like $15 more expensive here than over there. So it all, I think most people kind of just look at the prices and they're just like, for your favorite teams, it's kind of like, oh, it's too pricey, you know. But for the most part, I think it's always, always kind of almost the same. It's just some prices for teams maybe up or down. Braves with that one to four ninety nine. But I know for certain releases, yeah, I can get really pricey on some. And we got Montero to four ninety nine for the Cardinals. Saying those Cardinals, Eric. C. Let's 
to like get something close to here. And then we'll have also a little hit recap video as well at the end of the break. Mr. Skunk, I don't recognize your username, man. Oh, what's up, man? What's going on? Sorry, I didn't recognize the username. I'm so used to a lot of customers like with their like name in the front. So sometimes when I think you had it like your name before, right? You can't change it back for sixty days. Uh, oh, that's right. No, they don't allow you to change on YouTube as often, right? I mean, yeah, okay, that helps, right? Anything anything to get a little mojo. Actually, I remember doing that before, but I remember when I couldn't change it, I decided to just make a new account. Yeah, guys, once we get this done, I don't have anything else on the schedule besides eBay at 6.30. So, Austin Beck, 499 paper. Um, so, if there's anything else you want to do before I have to do that eBay, um, let me know. It's eBay is going to be a quick 10, 15 minute breaks each, so it's not going to take very long for me to rip that. So, we have about a good two hours. By the time I get done with this, we'll probably have about an hour and a half, maybe. Ooh, look at that. Ruiz to 50. Bowman's first. Padres. Chris. Oh, you changed it two times in 60 days. Yeah, that's right. I remember you change it once, it's okay. You change it back, you got to wait another 60 days. The Stewie Ruiz. I don't really do too much baseball, so you guys let me know. Obviously, which Bowman's first are pretty cool besides like, I know Wander and those guys, but... I'm sure there's other names that have popped up recently since Bowman Baseball came out. $4.99. Helsley. Cardinals. Franco. 
up, Carlos? What's going on, buddy? And Danny Jansen. Toronto Blue Jays. Eric with the Blue Jays. Walker to 125 Rockies I right, have one more autograph right Fernandez Colorado Rockies Uh, Colorado Rockies with that one. That is Eric Bailey. Alrighty, next box. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think we have any man. I think the only personals we have right now is just what's on the website I mean we have obviously as you can see like loose boxes around here, but they're meant for like mixers So that's why we don't sell them as personals But yeah, I mean If we ever do we always would post it on the website at least if it's for personal but Sorry about that girl But once we get to our new shop, man, uh, I think we're going to have a lot more inventory for in-person and online. So I think that's when you guys will be able to definitely get into more personal box breaks and stuff like that. For sure, you know? But within the next month or two. Our plan is still to get out of here by the 1st. Hopefully everything goes well in the other store as we're fixing stuff up as quick as possible for us to at least just move in and break. But the store won't be open probably for another month or so. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what really happened the other night, man. But uh, I, I heard about it a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe, I don't know. I guess he may have taken it differently. Or didn't recognize, you know, the name or something like that, so. But, yeah, I mean, sorry about that, man. I didn't, didn't really know too much about it. I'm just going to put this over here, guys. It's going to actually give me some room so I can put the base here. Am I, am I pulling super fractors? Damn. Uh, I haven't got one yet. I would love to pull one. I don't know if I pulled one from Bowman yet. Yeah, we're... <laughs> 
were definitely totally different for sure. I think more of the main channel crowd obviously enjoys Joe more, which is it's just fine. I mean, I get it. I used to be. I used to be buying into breaks too, so I know how it is. But yeah, I think we're both. I think I think we both do a really really good job, just in different ways, you know. I'm more laid back, but try to get a little bit better here and there. Two fifty for Detroit Burroughs. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's maybe he didn't reckon. I mean, he obviously didn't recognize the username or something like that, so he would think that it was just somebody just trying to just mess around with him. But yeah, I mean, that's what I figured happened. And he's definitely a lot more harsh than I am, <laughs> and he knows and he says that too. Ryan Costello, but it's just because on the main channel there's always stuff like that, that happens. So, but yeah, I understand though. Twins, uh, what's up, Trevor? Any basketball? Yeah, we have some basketball on the website actually. Um, I believe like we're people are filling Noir basketball. We have Court Kings basketball. So here's Noir. I think that's actually down to like five or six left. And of course we have a Dallas Mavericks a random number block. Uh, we have this break right here, which is Court Kings. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of basketball breaks that are picker teams. I would love to do uh, that court Kings. That'd be very nice But uh, noir, I mean was posted just today. I believe and it's already like kind of almost sold out so can definitely do that after this break and uh, I'd love to do that cup hockey box the cup hockey is already down to two left in a random number block So that should be fun Yeah, well, that's one thing. That, not that we don't want to. Not that not that we don't want you to promote like certain things. Like if you're gonna sell stuff that you may have pulled here, that's totally fine. But I mean, if you're like promoting another place or starting like your own little thing, I, I think that's where he. Kind of, uh, well, most of us here, I kind of draw the line, just because you know, it's not that like we don't want you to like do your own thing or succeed, but. It's kind of because there's a lot of people, man. I mean, back in the day, there'd be a lot more when we were first starting off, but it's kind of calmed down, actually. But there'd be a lot of people that just dropped their links and be like, come watch us break and come do this or come that, you know? Where? I mean, potentially, it's like I'm trying to snag people or convince people to go to them, you know, instead. But, like I said, we're both a little different. If it's promoting, like, cards or stuff that you got here or trying to sell, but it's a little different, but. Alright, Mateo Gill or Jill to four ninety nine Bowman's first. I mean I don't really do much but just show excitement <laughs> and then I have a horn that I usually batteries die so quickly I don't know why. And that's kinda what I do. It's right here. Got it more for the hockey actually. A customer of mine actually got it for me while I was doing a lot of hockey back in the day here. Oh, that's like our trademark, though. That's the one thing. That's one thing that we've always done. That was thought of a long time ago. But yeah, some people like it. Some people don't. Everybody has their own little thing.
We got uh, Williams Astudillo to 150. Minnesota Twins. Little big boy right there. Marlins. Are Marlins going back to their old, like, Marlin logo? The 250? I feel like they are. The old school Marlins logo they have? I know, what does Kawhi want, guys? I mean, I know we're talking about baseball, but I know we're doing a baseball break, but Casey Golden. Like, is he really going to come to L.A., though? Casey Golden, that's Colorado Rockies. Yes, uh, our owner, so the owner is like the son and father and son. The last name is Jasperson, so a lot of, it kind of came up with Jaspies. It's kind of what their nickname was when they would talk about their last name, so that's kind of where we got the name from, just for short. Alright, halfway through, guys. Alrighty, next box. Arizona Diamondbacks paper to four ninety nine. Widener. All right, we got Diego Cartia, Chrome Prospect Autograph Purple Refractor Parallel. Quickly look up where this guy plays. Oh, that's a Dodger. 
Nice. And purple refractor, I believe, is what, 150, 250? Uh, purple out of 250. Nice. So Dodgers with that one. Thank you, John. Yeah. Dodgers. All righty. Continue on. Remember, a lot of these names, guys, I, I mean, I won't really recognize them. I only broke like one or two cases of this stuff and uh, don't really watch too much baseball, follow it so much, Miguel Cabrera, but I know a lot of these prospects can be somebody in a couple years. So it kind of sucks you may have to wait for it a little bit, unless obviously you guys want to sell what you guys have now, but a lot of these names can be somebody very, very big, and I always like to talk about this, but I remember back, what is it, 2011, I think it is, uh, with Bowman Chrome or Bowman Baseball, had a ton of... Uh, looking for Harper, 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 and then all of a sudden, a couple years ago, some guy, Brian Mata, named Trevor Story pops up, and how much his uh, Bowman stuff, Bowman baseball stuff was going for, and I, I kid you not, I, I must have had with my partner, like, tons of, of Trevor Story stuff that we had just probably just sold. Cheap, right? Because we're just like, ah, uh, he doesn't sell well right now, and we didn't really think about, like, saving him and stuff like that, but... Those people that had all that Trevor Story just there hiding just cashed in big time. So even though they might not sell for a lot right now, don't really really know too much when it comes to prospects. They could be low rank, but then turn out to be really, really well. Do really well in the MLB. Alright, Minnesota Twins. Betch told. Twins. That's Ken with Last Ball Mojo. Are one of the last two teams taken. Remember, guys, I also have a hit recap video as well at the end of the break. So I know there's not too many people watching today on a Monday. I know some people are still kind of getting adjusted to Monday, going back to work, and then realizing that we are breaking on Mondays and Sundays, or Sundays and Mondays again. But. I think a little bit later there should be a handful more people popping in. The 299, Lambert, Colorado Rockies. that atomic refractor for the Phillies to 100 Alec Bohm Phillies it's also last ball mojo so Cam got the twins and Phillies we're an expensive team I don't think so right very very nice All right, next box.
<laughs> the Josh Smith. That's funny. All right, next one. All right, this is all just paper base. Four ninety nine Acevedo for the Yankees. Real time. That's another. You're the second person to talk about a super. Am I? Do you guys? Do you guys know when super fractures are coming out? <laughs> no Vlad Junior autographs yet. Nothing like that. Toronto, Toronto's hit some autographs, I think, of other players. Gabriel Cancel. Royals. I know the odds are with you. I know, right? <laughs> I hope so. I want now. I kind of now. I feel the pressure of pulling a super fractor, or at least give me a, at least give me a red or something of a big player. I don't mind pulling a red either, but I don't want to sell myself short, right? Just super fractor or nothing. Out of one hundred and fifty for the Padres. Little Bowman Sterling numbered car. Padres are doing pretty well so far. What's up, Stephen K? Yeah, let's get the Noir. I mean, Noir was just posted today, and it's already pretty much almost sold out, besides the Mavs spot random. Or random number block, sorry. One fifty, Luis Garcia. Julio Rodriguez to one fifty. For the Mariners. Seattle Mariners. Eric Bailey. Do you good prospect, John? I wish I knew more about baseball. Just know pretty much the current players. Obviously, the bigger names when they first came out. He's a good one. All right. Damn, should have blown my horn for that one. For the Atlanta Braves to one uh, to two ninety nine. Rizniel Wilson. Braves. Charles J. Samuelson. Is that you? Is that you, John?
Oh, okay. Well, I just want to make sure so that way I know who I'm I'm thinking of and talking to. The 250. Nova. But no, of course. I, I've known you as John every time I've seen you in the chat with Joe. Obviously, we just copy and paste the order form, so when it comes to shipping, it's just easier to look it up. Alrighty, cool. Three more boxes to go, guys. Put some of this base away. Alrighty, three more boxes. So yeah, guys, I do see six orders I gotta go through, or four, not too many. But I think that Noir is the next thing that may go off before anything else. Or sorry, the maybe the Cup Hockey random number block, which I'm pretty excited about too. Uh, Vito, uh, I think the picker team, I think the picker team is, uh, is the, it's normal, right? I mean, you just pick your team, but I think for the Dallas Mavericks random number block is, uh, you're basically paying for a piece of the Mavericks, which meaning that it'll go by serial number on the left side. So let's say you get, you know, spot three or block three in a randomizer and we pull a Luka Doncic, I don't know, RPA or something three of 99 or 13 or you know anything with a three on the left side of the dash the first number uh I, I think that is yours right you know so everybody has a shot at every single mavericks card that pops out of the break but it's not necessarily going by you know by a team it'll just go by your number that's what i'm assuming it is i don't think i've ever done one of those either but pretty much what it is so somebody with spot 5 may get a 5 of 15 Luca. some other guy may get spot 6 and get something else of Luca, and vice versa whoever else is in the Mavericks checklist I actually wouldn't really know what the biggest hit so far is I think real time says Atomic Auto was the best one I'm just looking for like Wander and those guys like you know, Vladimir or something. It's kind of what I'm just looking for. Look at that Wander boy. Or uh, Eloy Jimenez or something. Two fifty. Adams. Oh, is that yours? Is that you, Ken? I didn't really. I don't. I don't. I don't know if that was you. Sorry. McKenna for the Baltimore Orioles. I gotta remember most of your guys' uh, usernames so that way I'm not like shocked. I'm talking to it. Sometimes. I'm not really I'm only on here a couple days out of the week, so once I recognize who you are then the name sticks right away. Fifty, Rooker, 
Little twins. Um, yeah, I mean, the only reason why we dual stream when I'm on is just because I have to do eBay while I do this, but, um, when Joe's back on Tuesday through Saturday, then we just turn that feature off and then I just stream on my own eBay schedule and I'll go on when eBay starts and finishes and then Joe just does his normal three to 11. But then when I come in on Sundays, the YouTube channel will stay on, on eBay for as long as I'm streaming on the main channel. Colby Allard for the Braves to 499. But I'm on a Sunday through Thursday and Joe's on Tuesday through Saturday. So that makes us seven days a week, at least on the website. eBay still only five days a week. But once we get to our new store, man, I mean, I think we'll be breaking a lot more. More often too, throughout all hours of the day. So, yeah, the, we just wanted to be on seven days a week now. So that's why I changed the schedule. I changed my schedule to kind of help out with that. Man, this thing is getting out of focus crazy, huh? To four ninety nine, Danny Jansen. Uh, Martinez for the Toronto Blue Jays. Bowman's first. What's up, Ryan? Hanging well, man. And Julio Rodriguez to 499 for the Mariners. Eric Bailey with the Mariners. Alrighty, guys. Last two boxes. And again, we have some eBay scheduled in about an hour and a half. So. Yeah, is this, is this guy worthy of this? Right? I mean, I feel like people are saying, nice, another Julio. I don't know. I finally got batteries in that. Probably took the time to actually go get batteries and plug it in before I started streaming. Super or at least a red. Oh, is he the top in their system? Nice. Well, that's good to know. Next time, if I ever do break Bowman, when I pull his autographs, I'll definitely throw that horn up there. Get a little more excited, right? I know, right? So I don't have to worry about battery. That's true. But let's let's invent that, Mike. I'll be able to stop breaking, maybe. I mean, I don't know how many people would actually buy it, but you would think, right? If we sell it internationally around the world, you think we'd be able to sell some? <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know if the hockey break sold out, guys, but I, I'm pretty sure it did. All right, we're at two left in the Cup Hockey Random Number Block. Pretty excited for that. It's been a good couple months since I've actually like seen and ripped open hockey, uh, Cup Hockey, so that should be fun. You know, to be honest, guys, I don't know if that Orca Besser that was on the sell sheet has ever been pulled yet. Unless it's just hiding in some Besser Super Collector. Like, House, Matt Carpenter. I think that Orca to 99 is still out there. And a printing play. Look at that. Wow. Look at there's that guy again. Julio Rodriguez. Nice break for the Mariners and Eric Bailey. Look at that. Two autographs and a printing plate now. Solid. It's Julio box or Julio case, sorry. Lawson, Reggie Lawson for the Padres. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll pull that Julio guy in cup. That'd be funny. How did that get in here? Oh, uh, Will Smith, who actually just hit a walk-off the other night for the Dodgers at Stewart, it's four ninety nine. Bones first autograph. Phillies. I believe one of them was a color. I'll, I'll show you in the re hit recap video once we finish this right now. But we got a printing plate, no autograph, and then two of them. We got a refractor to 499 and to 150. Gavin Lux, four ninety nine. And Hick Len Bowens first for the Royals. Ken. 
Alrighty, last box. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. So again, I'll have about an hour, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes till my eBay breaks are scheduled. Not sure if anything else is sold out. That cup hockey was really close. The random number block. But um, like I said, I don't know what else is going to be on the schedule. Just remember that at 6.30 to 7, it's got to do two eBay breaks that are quick, 10, 15 minute breaks. Be done by 7 p.m. Pacific. And then from 7 to 11, like yesterday, we can fill up anything else on the website. So we can do that Noir. We can do Court Kings. We can do a couple of those mixers that Nick put up. Whatever you guys want to do. Uh, no, Richard, actually. He, he kind of got out of the hobby a little bit. A little after uh, when I was gone a little bit, a year and a half ago kind of helped me get some things done and then uh yeah he's he, i think he sold his whole collection <laughs> including that mick david i pulled him but he's still around but not really into the hobby as much no more i think he told me that he would get back into it, but just buying players and stuff that he liked uh my ebay is Hold on, just give me one second. Uh, if it sells out tonight, Miller, we can do it tonight, yeah. Hoping we can do a core kings tonight. Remember, Joe's back tomorrow, but I'm still here today for, you know, so whatever you guys want me to break. I only saved Bowman baseball from yesterday. It was, it was down to two last night, like around 10.30, and I was going to do it, but it got really, really dead, and I didn't feel like I should do it. I didn't feel like I should do it with only, like, so many people watching, so I told him, hey, if it sells out, we'll just do it tomorrow to start the day, and that'll be our first break of the day. But you guys know me, man. If we're filling up breaks, I don't mind staying after 11 o'clock to fill up breaks. Just got to keep the momentum going. 499, kill off. Uh, it is, give me one second, John, for our eBay, or for our email, for just any shipping questions, anything like that, it's Jaspies. Jaspies case breaks at gmail.com. I know some people still may email the other one that we have, but we don't really look at that. So just remember, Jaspi's case breaks at Gmail. All no problem, man. We have one left in hockey, so we can do that cup hockey coming up next. That cup hockey is good, guys. It's kind of uh, died down a little bit just because new rookie class, and of course, we're kind of winding down as well. Cup hockey, the new one should be coming out in October, November. So that should be coming out, but that older cup hockey stuff is nice. And like I was telling you guys, I think that Orca Besser has not been pulled yet. <laughs> I think it's still out there. Christian Santana to 250 for the Dodgers. And that rookie class was pretty solid. Remember Brock Besser for the Canucks, Clint Keller for the Yotes, the Brinkat for the Hawks, Pierre-Luc Dubois for the Blue Jackets, Charlie McAvoy for the Bruins. It's pretty solid. And of course, the good thing with cup hockey is you get all the vets current players stars and stuff like that throughout a case as well so medina what's in your attic ryan
499 Suarez. I don't know what that means. Brock Besser? <laughs> Brock Besser's in your attic? Oh, what do you mean by that, John? You mean the, the product, uh, the cup hockey, or? Sorry. I think explain that just a little bit more. I'll be able to answer the question. Oh, are you replying back to Ryan? Oh, you're thinking the Stanley Cup's in the attic? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I got it like 10 seconds after. I was like, wait, 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 what does he mean by that? I hope you don't have the Stanley Cup in your attic, Ryan. Oh, we got a redemption. Save that towards the end. Uh, would the personal life break tonight? Oh, of course, yes, Avery. As long as we don't have anything on our break schedule to do first, any of those personal boxes uh, that are on our website for sale, uh, I can break it whenever. Uh, I'll add you to the break list, and we can do it first. Yeah. So if you purchase some personal boxes, just let me know, and I'll get the order, of course, as well. When? To 250? Dodgers, kids, the redemption. Oh, is it really? Is all the young players? To 75, Austin Beck. I didn't realize these were like out of 75, that these were golds. really out of focus there guys things because I move it too fast and cruise for the Braves oh is that a new one canary yellow that's new I don't even think I've ever pulled one of those out of this ball alrighty All right, and behind, sorry, we're going to use uh, McKenzie as a little filler. It is Bowman. Oh, it's a 1989 Bowman buyback. Autograph of Carlton Fisk. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. I want to make sure what team he's under. What what would this Carlton Fisk be under? Because I believe he played for a couple teams. Or when, what 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 team was he under in 1989? Let me double check, guys. Actually, on on cardboard connection, it doesn't show a team affiliated to it. But whatever team he was under in 1989, that's what it'll go to. Yeah, it looks like it's the White Sox. Yes. I'm double checking that as well. So just to show you guys. Yeah, it's White Sox, it looks like. Chicago White Sox. Nice. Just wanted to double check just because. So that's a 1989 Cardiff's buyback autograph. Very nice. Okay, on group break, they have it. Cool, awesome, yeah. I forget. I usually got to go one one or the other, but I stick with more. Uh, I forget I stick with more of a uh, cover connection, but group break is the next one I would go under. There you go. That's White Sox edition, and that's going to Jared. That's Jay with White Sox. That's pretty cool. That's a nice one. There you go. White Sox. 
So in that buyback set, they had Ken Griffey Jr., Mark McGuire, Roger Clemens, Ryan Sandberg, Dennis Eckersley, Dale Murphy, Edgar Martinez, Andre Dawson, Cal Ripken Jr. There you go. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So here you go. Let me do a little quick hit recap video. So just if you're watching, uh, you don't want to watch the whole break, just remember to fast forward. I'll probably put in the break title at the end, like hit recap in the same video. So that way you guys can kind of just look at it through there. Oh, that should be all of them. All right. So, of course, these are all your numbered cards that we'll be top loading very soon. Our shipping team. We got all these right here. A lot of different teams. So you guys can see here. So everybody will be getting this. Alrighty. And not in any particular order. I think kind of just the way we pulled this stuff, but. First autograph we got out of here was Reggie Lawson for the Padres. And a Julio Rodriguez to 499 refractor autograph for the Mariners. Kobe Allard to 499 for the Braves. Ryan McKenna for the Baltimore Orioles. Wilson for the Braves to 199 or to 299. You got another Rodriguez there to 150 for the Mariners. Ken Sal, Bowman's first for the Royals. Atomic, Baum. 100 for the Phillies. Uh, Betch told to one, uh, sorry, uh, autograph, just a base autograph for the Twins. Of course, Diego Cartia for the Dodgers, purple refractor. I think that's to 250. We got Casey Golden for the Colorado Rockies. Mateo Gill, Gill for the Cardinals to 499. Costello to, for the Twins. Fernandez for the Rockies. Jansen for the Blue Jays. Ruiz, Gold Shimmer for the Padres. Montero to 499 Refractor, Bowman's first. Luciano, Bowman's first autograph for the Giants. Martin to 299. Of course, there's that Carlton Fizz buyback for the White Sox. Cruz for the Braves, Bowman's first. Christian Santana for the Dodgers to 250. Purple. Hicklin. Bowman's first for the Royals. Stewart. Will Stewart to 499 for the Phillies. And then we got also another Julio Rodriguez, just a base uh, printing plate for the Seattle Mariners. So the Mariners were a great break. And of course, you get all the, uh, I believe, rookie stuff. No paper base, but some other stuff that in the in the, in the description it says. It says uh, no paper base ships unless it's numbered, no veteran comments ship as well. But there you go. That was the break. That was Bowman. Uh, baseball HTA Jumbo 8 box case break number 21. There's nothing else for me to do randomized, so I think that's it. Appreciate it, guys.